It's later the same day. She has both feet on the ground, but I have my hand, you see there, underneath her balancing her. She cannot balance. But she is eating. I've given her Hydra Hen with this syringe. I put a little bowl beside here to see if she'll drink on her own. But she's definitely eating on her own. So, you know, that's a good sign. Of course, if she's never going to be able to walk again, that's not sustainable. I can't um, <laughs> hand feed a hen every two hours in my dining room as much as I might like to. I'm going to see if she'll drink on her own. She looks to be interested. I'm going to dip her beak. All right, then. She is interested. Want some more? She can lift her head. She moves her wings. She moves her legs. I just don't know if she is exhausted from trying to fend off a raccoon from her babies or if she's in some kind of shock or if some kind of tendon is bruised or broken. It doesn't seem like it. I can put it on her, on her back and put her on her back and do bicycle bicycle with her legs and she doesn't make any sounds. She doesn't cry out. She doesn't wince. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Subscribe if you haven't. Thanks.